Let's paint some loose watercolor dahlias. So first, I'm gonna start out with just dabbing some heavy paint into the centers of where I want my flowers to go. This is usually a little bit of a process because I like to just make it very fluid and I don't spend a lot of time pre-analyzing how I want my flowers to look. So then with a very wet brush, I just pull out the petals. You could see I had a little water splash here, but I just went and incorporated it into the petals. So I'm just pulling from the center using really only just water and whatever leftover paint was on my brush. And I'm pulling these out in petal shapes and bringing them to a bit of a point with my round brush. Occasionally I will add a little bit more paint to my brush if I feel like the water is just too loose and nothing is showing up the way I want it to. Um, you can go back and adjust <clears throat> in layers as well. So I have three big flowers and um, for each of those I'm adding um, anywhere from like five to six petals. Dahlias are pretty um, and they tend to have lots and lots of petals and they're very fluid and they're very loose and they're very beautiful and they come in so many different shades of pinks and peaches and um, I just love them. This is my take on a dahlia. So it may not look like what somebody who creates more realistic floral paintings would do, but this is my version of that. And I tend to go back and layer over layer over layer and just play with my leaves and my flowers and my stems to make sure that they are the way that I like them. <clears throat> but generally speaking, it's a loose painting, so it can really look however you want it to. Uh, I didn't create single stems for these. I created one stem and I'm having my flowers really just fluidly fall off of this single stem. Some of them are straight, some of them are curved, but they all kind of come up and into a flower. And then I go in and add my leaves, which is one of my favorite parts of painting is actually filling in with leaves um, because they're just so fluid and they're really controlled by just the pressure on your brush and how much paint you use. You can make them, um, you know, curve, you can make them go straight, you can make them fall over, you can make them fat, skinny, <laughs> all different shapes and sizes. Um, and really all different variations and shades of green as well. So on this one, I'm just kind of filling in some leaves on the stems here, wherever I feel like there's a blank space and it makes sense to do that. And <clears throat> you can see that I'm using sort of the pressure of the brush to build the shape of the leaf and then really coming out very delicately towards the end um, to create that point. Some of my leaves are lighter, some of them are darker, and um, I just continue to do that throughout the process. It just really makes for um, very pretty stems. And eventually I will go back in and play with my leaves some more because that's what I do. And I will do that with um, the same color that I started with on the inside of the dahlias. And I will go ahead and just add some more dots on the center um, to darken up those centers of those flowers and really just make them um, stand out a little bit. The top flower on the right side, as you can see, is just a closed bulb. So I didn't really pull that one out on all sides. I kind of kept it really um, specifically closed just for that purpose. And you'll see that here, I just go in and really um, try to strengthen the coloring in those petals so that you can really tell that it's more of a closed um, bulb. And then eventually, and you can do this or not, but eventually I'll go back in and add some detail to my leaves as well. So I'll just take a little bit more saturation of the same green and I'll go over all of my leaves and my stems just to really pull them together and add some of the veining that you might find in leaves. I don't always do this on all the leaves. Sometimes I just do it on the bigger leaves. Sometimes I do it on um, the lighter leaves where it really shows, but um, you can choose to do this where you can just leave the leaves <laughs> the way that they are. And um, that's really all there is to it. Um, from this point on, it's really just cleaning up 
anything that I think needs some additional love and attention. And uh, then I just wrap up this lovely painting. And this is done in my sketchbook, so I love to be able to go back and look at these later on. It always kind of interests me to show me my progress when I'm painting. Um, so if you like what you're seeing here and you want to see more of this, then you can subscribe to my YouTube page. I usually provide updates at least once a day, and I hope to have more of these available soon. I hope you love this painting. Thanks for following along, and have a great day.